Hi everyone, today my topic is sarcopenia in people living with Jack Trafi in Asia, which definition correlates with health outcomes. So why we do this study? Because sarcopenia is increasingly recognized as an important clinical syndrome in the aging population of people living with HIV, and there are limited data for the Asian. The definition of sarcopenia diagnosis in people living with HIV is still debated. And for Asian, there is the Asia Working Group of Sarcopenia Guideline, the AWGS 2014 and the AWGS 2019, which I will refer to the old, as the older definition and the newer definition in subsequent slides. There is positive data evaluating health-related functional outcomes associated with sarcopenia in Asian people living with HIV, so I would like to look at it more. So what is the de different definition of sarcopenia using the older or the newer uh, definition? The older definition uh, defines sarcopenia as low muscle mass plus low hand grip strength and or low gait speed. And for the newer definition, it defines sarcopenia as low muscle mass and low muscle strength or low physical performance. So low muscle strength is no longer a must for the definition of sarcopenia in, under the newer definition. While the presence of all the three criteria defines severe sarcopenia under the newer definition. So our study is an observational cohort study. We recruited patients with uh, patient living with HIV with age greater than 35 years old under follow-up in Hong Kong. The sarcopenia definition we used is the AWGS 2014 and the Mueller 1 AWGS 2019 guideline. Appendicular skeletal muscle mass was measured by the desert scan. Other measurements including hand grip strength, weight, speed, gait speed, short physical functioning battery score was obtained for the definition of sarcopenia. For health-related quality of life, the questionnaire of EQ55L and questionnaire SF36 was used. And for disability, the questionnaire HUDAS was used. So we recruited 157 patients in our study. The mean age of them is 62 years old. Most of them around 85% are males. Half of our participants with multimorbidity, multi half of them with polypharmacies. The median duration of HIV diagnosis is 13, 13, years, 13 years, and the median duration of antiretroviral treatment is 11 years. The median current CD4 count is 545. Median current CD4 to CD8 ratio is 0.73. 61 of our participants with AIDS defining illness, and 18 participants are current smokers. So this is the prevalence of sarcopenia we found using the older definition, newer definition, and the severe sarcopenia under the newer definition. Prevalence was uh, 20%, 28%, and 17.2% respectively. And the below table showing when we're using the newer definition, we can detect more cases of sarcopenia that is not detected using the older definition. These are the variables associated with sarcopenia. On univariate analysis, Sarcopenia were associated with age, multimorbidity, polypharmacy, current CD4 count, and current CD4 to CD8 ratio, with the p-value less than 0.05. And there's also a trend of association with duration of HIV diagnosis, HIV duration, and the duration of um, HIV retro, antiretroviral treatments was observed. So uh, we show this data using the newer definition. As we found, there is actually similar founding for sarcopenia with definition using the older definition and those with severe sarcopenia under the newer definition. So this slide showing the association between sarcopenia of different definition and QL by the questionnaire EQ55L. When we use an adjusted analysis, showed that the using the older criteria definition and severe sarcopenia under the newer definition were associated with limitation of mobility and also limitation in usual activities, while the newer definition was only associated with limitation in usual activities. 
So after adjustment for those variables that we found related to sarcopenia, we found that um, the both older definition, it which is 2014 definition and severe sarcopenia under the newer definition was independently associated with limitation in mobility and also usual activities. So this slide showing the association between sarcopenia of different definition and a QL by questionnaire SF36. We found that uh, AWGS 2014 definition and the severe sarcopenia under the newer definition were associated with lower score in physical functioning. There's also significantly lower score in physical component summary for severe sarcopenia as shown here. And for mental component summary, there's no uh, relationship with either definition for the sarcopenia. And there's also no relationship found for the other seven scales with the different definition of sarcopenia. So this slide showing the association of sarcopenia under different definition and the disability by Hooters. And we found that there's significantly greater impairment in mobility observed for severe sarcopenia. And there's no significant association with the other five domains. So in conclusion, in a cohort of, in a cohort of Asian people living with HIV, 20% and 28% has sarcopenia, as defined by the AWGS 2014 and the AWGS 2019 definitions, respectively. The AWGS 2014 definition and severe sarcopenia under AWGS 2019 definition correlates with health-related functional outcomes, namely the mobility, visual activities, and physical functioning. Thank you.